A pendulum is a weight suspended by a string. The weight is called a bob. The point from which the bob hangs is called the pivot point. The distance between the pivot point and the bob is the pendulum's length. In the absence of outside forces, the bob will hang directly below the pivot point. This is called the weight's resting or equilibrium position. If the weight is pulled to one side and released, gravity will pull it back towards its equilibrium position. The momentum built up as the weight falls causes it to overshoot and swing up in the opposite direction. Gravity then acts to slow the weight until it stops and begins falling back down again. This back and forth motion repeats itself over and over as the momentum of the weight pulls it past the equilibrium position each swing. This is an example of simple harmonic motion. The time it takes for one full swing is the pendulum's period. There is a direct relationship between the force of gravity, the length of a pendulum, and its period. The period of a pendulum is proportional to its length and is described by the equation the period equals 2 times pi times the square root of the length divided by gravity. This is a very useful equation because by rearranging it, any two of these parameters, length and gravity, gravity and period, or length and period, can be used to estimate the third parameter. One thing to note about the relationship is how few variables are involved. If the force of gravity, 9.8 meters per second squared on Earth, and the length of the pendulum is known, the pendulum can be used to tell time. The mass of the bob does not matter, and as long as the angle of displacement from the equilibrium position is relatively small, the displacement distance does not matter either. Of course, detailed studies of pendulum physics require knowledge of the bob's mass, angle of displacement, and other factors, but only gravity and the distance between the pivot point and the bob is needed to estimate the period of a simple pendulum.